Hey, a beautiful summer day, but a lot of people surprised to find beaches closed across the state. Now, the reason was bacteria. And of course, the timing couldn't be worse with the heat we're having. WBC's Laura Hayfley looks at why it's happening. Summer may be spoiled for swimmers in Massachusetts. Not being able to swim during this very, very hot day is um, it's not very good. With the summer sun beating down on beachgoers, a startling announcement from local lifeguards left visitors with little relief. They drove up on the beach with a golf cart with a red flag saying, basically, swim at your own discretion. We are currently a red flag beach due to high levels of bacteria in the water. The Massachusetts Department of Public Health released a list of beaches Friday that are being monitored for dangerously high levels of human waste. And it's not a short list. 50 beaches in Massachusetts are on it, including Revere, America's first public beach. And now, one of the state's dirtiest. I think it's sad being out here and not being able to get in the water, especially for the kids. The high levels of waste are likely due to recent rainfall washing bacteria into the water. And with almost weekly rainstorms since April, the waste runoff is excessive. We asked an expert to explain further. Some of our sewer systems weren't actually designed for the amount of sewage that we experience in this day and age. Moreo Fernandez Imora is the state's co-director of Clean Water Action. When it rains, those sewage overflows do actually back up, and then we get sewage running into water. You don't want to expose yourself to human fecal matter, E. coli, diarrhea, respiratory illnesses. So is there a solution for future summers? We need to continue to really tackle climate change to reduce these weather patterns. If communities invest in stormwater um, runoff, rain barrels, things that reduce the actual amount of rainfall that then can lead to flooding. In Revere, Laura Hayfley, WBZ News.